Richard Krause. Director Vincenzo Natale doesn't just make sci-fi movies, he's also a fan. His latest film, Splice, starring Sarah Pauli and Adrian Brody as scientists who create a mutant child, think Frankenstein spliced with Mummy Dearest, is set to hit screens this weekend, so I thought I'd ask him what science fiction movies he thinks people should see, besides his own, of course. Vincenzo Natale's top five science fiction movies. I could mention 2001 and Star Wars and Matrix, but come on, we've all been there. But I think there are some very worthy science fiction films that aren't so well known. Um, and I'll start with Stalker. It's about a zone in Russia that may have had some kind of alien visitation. And when you, but it's highly classified. No one's allowed into it. And there are very special people called stalkers who illegally enter the zone and can take you to a place where uh, your wishes can come true. It was a film that was very inspirational for my first film, Cube. I have to say, I fall asleep every time I watch the film in the same shot. There's one shot that is so hypnotic, it makes me go to sleep. There's no other movie ever made that's quite like it. Then I'll next mention The Tenth Victim. If you are suicidal, the big hunt has a special place for you. Way ahead of its time. I don't think you've heard about it because I don't even think people understood what they were looking at when they saw this movie. How could they? Because it, it's really, it's about um, a kind of most dangerous game that's televised for the entire world in which people kill each other. And, and Marcello has to kill Ursula Andreas or vice versa. And it's a satirical comedy, it's absolutely brilliantly made. It's all with like that kind of cool Italian futurist architecture and, and design and furniture yeah, yeah. and so on. It's really funny. Um, I, I cannot recommend it enough, but it's it, very obscure. Not many people know about it. Next up, how about uh, La, La Planète Sauvage, or as it's known in English, The Fantastic Planet. Look at the darling baby. Oh, his mother's dead. I'm going to keep him. And it's an animated film, and it's real heavy-duty, psychedelic, 70s sci-fi. Really cool stuff. It takes place on a, another planet where humans, who are referred to as alms, are um, pets or a large race of aliens, like 30-foot-tall aliens. And, and it's about one ohm who leads a, a rebellion. It's kind of a Spartacus-type story against the aliens. It's, it's really amazing, totally outrageous. And as I say, very, very, very 70s, very psychedelic. Um, all right, next up, I'll, I'll go contemporary just to mix it up a bit. Uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Why remember a destructive love affair? Here at Lacuna, we have perfected a safe, effective technique for the focused erasure of troubling memories. Maybe not as well known as it deserves to be. I think it's like one of the best films of the last 10 years. And, uh, and definitely a film of ideas, and, but definitely a science fiction film. Uh, Charlie Kaufman wrote it, Michelle Gondry directed it. Um, it's it's a, in a very emotional movie, I think. Mean. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I think, kind of a masterpiece. Five, I'm going to be greedy and I'm going to make it a double bill. Mm. It'll be a, a Kenji Fukasaku double bill. Among them, Battle Royale. Well, it takes place in the future in a society where uh, ju juvenile delinquency is out of control. And so the government which takes randomly a group of school kids, puts them on an island, arms them with weapons, and tells them to kill each other until the last person is alive. And then that would be a double bill with the green slime. The green slime. It's total cheese. It actually really, in many respects, predates Alien as a story about a, a spaceship that's infected by an alien life form. And, um, and it's got, like, great special effects and uh, it's got beautiful Italian actress in it of course yeah. there's the only woman on the spaceship is a beautiful Italian actress <laughs> and it, it's lots of fun Richard Krause